Hello guys, today I want to present to you another Livewire component on my LivewireKit.com and this will be the 25th component on my LivewireKit and this is a checkout price calculator. You can see on the sidebar here. So first how it works and then we'll dive into the code and I will explain how it works in the code. So when someone clicks add to cart, look what happens. Cart 1 here and then you can do cart 2 so that also refreshes without page refresh and then there's a calculation for total cost which depends on two more parameters. So for the country, if I choose a country, it may add a tax which is European VAT. If you're not from Europe, it doesn't really apply to you, but just the logic that tax may depend on the country. So for example, if I choose something from European Union, like Cyprus for example, then it calculates 19% of tax. It's a pretty complicated schema in European Union and there is a specific Laravel package for that and I will show you that in a minute. So it calculates the tax based on the country and then there's shipping method. I've hard-coded three shipping methods, so $10 and then it adds shipping of $10. So this component is just a visual representation of the checkout calculator, but then it saves some data in the cart in the database table. So if we open the database, and product ID and quantity are saved here, but you may expand it on the back end with more logic like user ID, like country shipping method, you may say all of that in the database. And then when you click checkout, you may have all the data from the card. So I didn't implement that in Livewire component because it's very, very individual depending on the checkout process. But the goal here was to show events and there are three components. So product table, this number and the sidebar checkout. And let's take a look inside how they all interact together with each other. So in Blade, wherever you want to put those components, there are three components. So card products is the sidebar and then there's card counter on top and products table. First, let's take a look at the products table. In products Blade, it's just for else or for each of the products and then wire click add to card for the product ID. What is add to card? In the products, in the component, it just adds in the database, creates the card or updates it with quantity. In here, you probably should have more logic of multiple products if the card contains multiple product in your case. And then it emits the event update card. And this is where we get to another component, which is card counter. Card counter has a listener of update card, re-render the component, which is just taking the card amount with some quantity and nothing really fancy here. So card counter, if we open it up, is just cart amount, nothing really fancy. What is fancy is cart products. So in cart products component, we have also a listener update cart render. So the same thing happens as in cart counter, but render is much more complex here. So first we get the cart items with products relationship and then transform it into object with exactly what we need. Then we use cart without tax with shipping. Shipping is a private variable here or public variable actually shipping. And then if we open cart products here, shipping, it has this wire model shipping and here's the price of the shipping for every method of the shipping, right? So in the component, it adds the shipping to the cart items total, then it calculates the tax. And here's where we use that bad calculator, VAT calculator in the composer JSON there is a package called mpotiot bat calculator. It was created originally by Marcel Potiot, now taken over by Dries Vince from what I remember. And it does those calculations like calculate the tax by the amount and selected country. Selected country is a drop down here. So wire model selected country. And then we calculate with that package what we need. Get tax rate, get tax value and show all the card products. And then you can click also on the sidebar here to increase or decrease the amount, which also updates the card and emits the same event, which is ironically caught in the same component. So it listens, re-renders itself on the update card, but also re-renders in the card counter in here. So this is a bit more complex component on my Livewire kit, component number 25 which is not officially released yet. If you go to livewirekit.com, it's not here yet. It will be released officially tomorrow. Why? Because I want to give you one more day to purchase the components at the current price of $19 for all components. A few weeks ago, I announced that as soon as I reach 25 components, I will raise the price. 
and the price from tomorrow will be $29 and that will include that 25th component. So I give you one more day until Friday. So if you purchased now for $19 or you have purchased that already, you will get a set of components to download one time and then access to the repository where I will put all the future components and you won't have to pay more. So one time purchase for the future components for the foreseeable future. So today it's $19, tomorrow it will be $29. And as I often say, by purchasing LiveWire Kit or my other products, you support this YouTube channel and free videos daily on this YouTube channel. And see you guys in those other videos.